All right, uh, let's continue working on that eBay application and uh, uh, let's uh, quickly run the script and see where we are at this point and then uh, uh, where we're going to be going after this. Okay, I'm going to be clicking on this run and uh, the uh, browser is going to pop up, take me to eBay.com and then let's watch uh, that uh, it's going to put BMW into this box and then from the drop down box or uh, from the web list, uh, it is going to select the cars. Uh, um, boats and vehicles and parts and click on uh, on the search button and once it does that uh, it's gonna bring it up to this and uh, uh, now there was a, a button for the advanced search so we we it brought it up here okay now I did not close the browser because uh, we have told uh, QTP not to close the browser so here we are um, at this point where it had uh, from our last video we we entered this uh, into into my this is this advanced search uh, from the browser and we entered uh, this into our object uh, repository and then we clicked on that and once we clicked on that um, so we are here now we are here all right okay let's go ahead and then record this and then after we record uh, uh, you know certain actions on this page uh, we'll go to the next page and in the next page we are going to capture something from the from the application okay in order for me to record i gotta i gotta keep my uh cursor here and uh i have to go ahead and then click on the uh record button and for that um, uh, here is my record button i'm going to click on my record button and i uh bring up my browser uh here is my browser okay on my browser this is what i'm gonna i'm gonna do now uh basically uh, let me just uh, make okay basically what i'm gonna do here is uh I uh, I'm going to we are in the car and truck so I'm gonna go and then select here in the vehicle I'm gonna select a uh, uh, BMW uh, BMW is what I'm selecting okay vehicle model is uh, going to be my x5 uh, it's an SUV uh, and I want to see how many are there and uh, I need to go with a model from 2008 to 2011 now uh, as I am entering this I want you to notice here it is doing something here in the back and uh, also from a um, from a not like a layman um, point of view but from a QTP testers point of view you got to pay attention to the fact that what kind of objects I'm clicking on and uh, what it is doing right okay we clicked on this object which, which is like a web list this is another web list and this is like a web edit this is web edit right um, do you think we should do something more um, like uh, let's see here uh, items uh, within 500 miles of some zip code let's do that so I'm gonna I'm gonna click on this right that way we'll find out what kind of uh, what kind of an object this is right okay so I clicked on that and 500 miles of uh, zip code in New York City 00010018 uh, well, this is or a popular city so this is fine I put it in a zip code here or I could have selected that option that's fine okay now we will go and then we'll click on search okay once i click on search uh, now the application is going to ebay is going to search and then give me this many 148 uh, for sale all right okay this is what i was talking about i need to capture this this is the application which is giving me some some output and i i need to capture that and then bring it here in qtp how am i going to do that for that basically i got to find out what this object is just looking at it it looks like a link right but i cannot be guessing right so i need to find out what this object is so first of all i'm going to stop recording so uh i'm going to stop recording okay i stop recording i i still have my browser and uh, this is what i need to capture right first of all i need to find out what object it is so who is my friend which is, who will help me to find that out yes uh, right answer uh my uh object spy so here is my object spy i use my object spy and i just uh, will make some space and i click on that uh then it will it will tell me okay uh go to the place where you want to get so this is my this is what i need to capture so i click on that and then basically it 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 gives me over here if you take a look this is this is a link this is a link uh and uh and that's what you're you're seeing from here the class name is link and now uh, the logical name it has given it is a uh, hundred and forty eight for sale. I mean, you know, it 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 uh, um, you know uh, that's what it is. It it has given. I have not added it to the object repository yet, right? Okay, I have not added that, but we are just looking at the properties. Uh, okay, the the 
this is the logical name let's look at some of the properties now the properties which we are interested in is uh, because we need to we need to capture that so some of the properties is something whatever it is showing there we, we that's the value of that we need to know the property of the property is inner html uh, inner text right and if i compare uh, this object this object link to a to a human object right what are the properties of a human object and what are the values of that a properties of a human object could be his height right his height height is like 6 not 19 19 what 19 foot 19 inches neither of them would make sense okay so if it is a human then the height would be some uh, some uh, feet right five foot six foot uh, whatever uh, or his weight or his what so these are these are the properties these are the properties and these are the values right and this is this is this is what we got uh, as it is at this time okay so this is the link object is the object right okay all right now that we know that that's the object let's go ahead and add that object to the object repository um in, uh, in order for me to do that uh, i'm just gonna quickly uh get this uh and say click on that come here right click on that and here it is 148 i hit okay so 148 is the logical name i I don't want that logical name. What is the logical uh, logical name which I want to give? Like uh, results, right? Right? Results uh, uh, from AUT, let's say. Okay, from my application under test. That's my results, right? Okay, that's uh, that's good. So that's uh, that's that uh, link object. Now uh, it is better if I say Hungarian notation is what LNK. So LNK results from that. Okay, so I captured the object now. Uh, how am I gonna capture? How am I gonna capture the value uh, which is coming out here? Now, before we do that, let's let's uh, quickly take a look into the code which it had uh, generated for us, right? So let me just uh, take a look into that code. Uh, um, the code which it has generated. This part was okay. This is what we have been doing so far. So the new thing which it 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 generated for us was uh, uh, it would go into the eBay browser. And it would go to a new page which it called it eBay search eBay motors I mean I could always go and then change that and then in the web list it gave a name to the web list as a39 and in that web list it selected uh, BMW and then it went again to the web list it selected uh, x5 it went in and it selected 2011 and all that right okay so that's what it did uh, so far now now where is that part where we have said uh, we want it to be 500 uh, miles uh, from uh, um, now did we close the recording at that time or what i mean uh, i don't know so let's let's run it and see how it behaves before i run i will just close the browser uh, let me see what it is doing right now so here i go i run it and as i run ebay pops up uh, and it puts BMW in there and from the drop down it is going to select um, cars and uh, boats and uh, car parts or, or vehicle parts whatever it is right and then click on the search uh, button and once it does that it quickly goes to the second page and we are clicking on that advanced uh, uh, link and we did that and then we came in here right we came in here um, well I uh, I think we did not record that part which was like uh, it is uh, uh how many miles and a few miles from uh um new york city and that part i guess we did not do that so well we can we can we can do it so that was before that was before what that was before the clicking of the search right so on on my page on my page uh i will go back that was here on this page so this part i guess we did not record it, this part so let's do that so i keep my browser here uh my cursor here rather and i will do record and then let me bring my browser and in my browser i'm gonna go and and do this right check on that right i check on that and i will uh one more time i'm gonna type uh one zero zero uh one eight right uh that's basically what i want to wanted to record right um okay so i'm gonna stop this recording and see what it generated for some reason it did not generate anything oh well, that's uh strange uh that's really strange i need to uh, look into that. We can give it one more shot. Um, I will do a record. I'm gonna come in here um, and uh, let me try something else. Search, title, and description. 
So I'm going to click on that. There you go. Uh, it is doing something now. Uh, I think I think we had to select this and that. Anyway, search the title and description. Um, show completed listings only. No, I'm not going to do that. So I just I just clicked on that, right? So now let me uh, close the uh, this one and and take a look. Uh, okay. So what it does is uh, the the object here is web checkbox because it was a checkbox. So it's a it has to put a web before it. It's a web checkbox and it has checked that FTS and what that FTS was uh, uh, was uh, was this this checkbox I guess. And if I want to find out if I want to confirm that. Um, I mean, I, I we can quickly confirm that by bringing this guy, and he will help us confirm that if we go and if we go and then click on this this little thingy, right? And uh, it it is giving us that the name is FTS. Now you might say that uh, why are you saying that it is FTS? Uh, the name uh, where are you finding out? Okay, this this value this in yellow the value is that's the object name the class name. Let's find out the name. The name is basically for these elements. The name is uh, either ID or the name. So here is the name. So here is the name. Name is FTS. So the name of that little checkbox was FTS. So that's what it is. It is keeping it as. So now it it checked that. Now let us go and then find out if we can do the other one. So the other one was uh, I wanted to I wanted to record this right. So now let's go and then click on record. Uh, bring up the browser and uh click on that right uh and let's uh do 100 miles right off and i'm gonna put uh, uh california 90001 right um that's what i'm gonna do and that's all i'm gonna do right so i'm just trying to move away from there okay let me just close the browser and see what it had done okay it did do this time right uh it it uh it selected eBay uh, browser and then it web list and uh, this is the distance I guess hundred miles uh, from this uh, uh, zip code uh, 9001 zip code so it did do something now so, okay now let us see uh, let us uh, close the browser I'm gonna put some uh, weight uh, here right I'm gonna put a weight of uh, five and a weight of uh, uh, five just so that I can see what's going on there Right and weight of five. Uh, this way, this will help me see whatever it's going on, whatever it is typing in there. Otherwise, it was like uh, too fast. It was jumping too fast. So um, let me do that. Okay, now we run this. We bring up our browser and see what's going on. Let's uh, uh, sit back, relax, and then take a look into what is happening. Okay, here, here goes my um, BMW, uh, and then from the drop down or from the web list it is going to uh, select car boards click on search um and then it comes in here here it is waiting for five seconds uh, because i gave that and then here it is going to click on this advanced search okay whoa um okay the error here is i said wait right look at that run error wait and then stop run skip debug right wait what so it, it comes back and says hey it has you are, did not mention to me like how, what I should do. Wait for what? So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, click on debug. I'm going to click on debug. Come next to wait and enter. Try and enter some value there and see if it takes that. Um, okay, it is not taking that value. So we could have skipped that, right? So let me just run it one more time and see what happens. It gives me the same error. So I'm going to say skip that, right? Because uh, it, it is going to skip that line, but still going to do something else, right? So I'm going to skip that line. Okay, it is doing something else. Let's see what it is doing now, now in the browser. It had selected that BMW and X5 and it came here and it checked that. Now let's see if it uh, see put something in here. There it is, 9001, it did put in here. Then it is waiting for five and then now it's going to go and then click on this um, uh, search and okay, so it completed, it completed everything. Okay, now this is the output. We have to capture this, this output. In order to capture this output, I wanted to find out what object it is. I found out what object it is. It was link object. Now we have to get the value from here. Okay, now how are we going to get the value? Okay, here it is. All right, first of all, I want to bring the value all the way, all the way uh, here before the end. I want to bring the value, right? Okay, in order for me to bring the value from the, from the application, into my my QTP 
right um first of all i have to i have to tell qtp what what object what object right so what is the object think about it what is the object uh the object is this object right and what was that object we could find out that was uh, that object was in the link right so we just called that object as uh, results right results from aut so i have to go to that object first how am i going to go to that object uh, i it's very easy right i'm not teaching you uh vb scripting here but i'm just gonna show you very quickly how to get to any object you just that object is is where any object any object which we have been seeing web edit web list web checkbox they are inside the page and inside the browser we don't know which browser and which page right okay let's give it a shot browser right when we type browser and open parenthesis it automatically completes that for me why because it takes the name of the browser from the object repository the in the object repository there's only one browser so it took the name of that now these yellow things are pages there are many pages right and if you expand these you would get to know where the object is the object uh, which is of our interest the object uh, of our interest is uh, what uh, the results uh, from aut this is that object and it is inside this page so which is 2007 current bmw x5 that's in that page right so now let's do a dot when i do a dot it will show me everything and this time i'm going to do a p and it will give me a page and if i do a tab to complete it so that i i'm lazy i don't want to type so i do a now if i open parenthesis it will give me all the pages so we have one two three four whatever pages are there in the object repository it is giving me that so i have to choose the first one because we noticed that when we opened the uh, object repository we noticed that our object which was that uh, um uh, the object was uh, the link object was inside this page so either i can just double click on that page right or i could have tabbed okay now if i do dot it will give me whatever i want in there and which object i want i want that link object right and if i open parentheses it will fill this thing out for me so this is where i am now okay this is where this was our object of interest now still the object right we need what from this object we need like let's say this is me right you came to me so this is this is uh i was sitting let's say uh inside a library in new york city so this is new york city uh this is the library and this is the floor so you came to me now right now after you came to me you want something from me right so in order to get something from this object what what we have to do we have to do a dot and we are getting something right get so i do a get ro property what is get ro property get ro property means that whatever at runtime in runtime when we are running when we are running this at runtime whatever is the value of of one of the properties of this object what are the properties of a human object properties are eyes value is two uh, properties is uh, ears values is two properties is nose value is one uh, properties height value could be anything right so the property of this object which we want right uh, was if you if you see here if i go into object uh, repository and if i go here and if i take a look into that this this is basically telling me some of the properties some of the property descriptive property there is text as a property there is html tag as a property let me take text and see if i could get the values of that so i'm going to come in here and put within the double quote text and do this and close that right so that's what i want so this is what we want right okay this is what we are going and this is depending on whatever the application is going to spit out the application the application is going to return to us that's what this the whole line will capture but we want to print this right so before this i should say print print this right print this okay now let us try uh now before i i run it it might crash and all of our uh, work would just go down the drain so i'm just gonna save this so i'm gonna do file save as and i this time i'm gonna because there were some major changes so i'm gonna save it as ebay demo 3 ebay demo 3 and i'm gonna save it as uh, and i will uh close my browser i close my browser and i run now imagine your script now it is it is getting 
it is getting bigger and bigger right see that see that it is it is becoming bigger but i guess there is not a line which you which you are not able to understand almost every line you are understanding there was one error which we had earlier so let us fix that so let us do a five there okay now uh let us go and then run this and see what is happening here okay uh ebay opens up um it goes uh types bmw and after it times bmw from the web list uh, uh object it is going to select whatever it is it has to select now it has to go and click on the search button it clicks on the search button we come to this page and then on this page we are clicking on that advanced search link this this link this link here we are clicking on that uh so it clicked that and now it is it is uh let me just make some space so that you can see okay it did enter whatever it, it has to enter and it is going to enter something here here right okay it is entering that now it will go and then it will enter uh something 100 miles from uh, zip or postal code 9001 and now it will wait and it did enter the search and it came up with 225 for sale right now we are going to capture that we are going if everything is okay see this yellow see this yellow thing here it is it is trying to read and read and read from the application trying to find out okay it went to the browser it went to that page and it went so it is still there it is still doing something it is still doing something now either it may it may come back with an error or it will come back with the result and lo and behold here is my result uh the result is 225 for sale as you can see here let me just uh move this okay here it is 225 for sale and that's what was this one and it captured that right you know what what we're going to be doing right now is i'm going to close this right just to and this time rather than doing a bmw let's do something else uh let's do lexus let's do lexus right so i am searching for lexus now everything the same the data got changed to lexus now let us run and see how many values it goes and then brings it now so this is our uh, test case the test case is go and uh, check uh, the ebay application enter different criteria the different data different data is what uh, you know at different times you have different data and then see what kind of application uh, what kind of output the application was, is going to give you so we ran that we we are waiting for it to come back and tell us uh, I, you know what it is going to be now in case of uh, my lexus uh, let's see what it is going to return now uh, in the previous case it returned what uh, 225 uh, now in case of lexus let us see what it is going to return um, it is going to click on the search now and then it will uh, okay it is uh because i resized the browser so we don't know uh what it is returning uh probably did not uh or why is it showing uh bmw here okay let's see what what is happening and i know exactly what is happening <laughs> i know exactly what is happening and i'm going to walk you through in a second what is happening um i will walk you through in just a second what is happening okay uh the 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 test ran fine right now if we want to find out what are the results are uh, the results are again 225 for sale you might say this is this is not happening lexus and bmw both 225 you know what uh, no what we did is uh, we change the lexus here we change the lexus here we change the lexus we started we changed the lexus here the first page right then we selected the cars boards then it went in there then it went to the other page now here uh take a look here what happened here is here in the drop down in the drop down we still had it as a bmw we still had it as a bmw in the drop down right so i should i should change there to lexus 2 first of all i'm guessing here because this is a select Select means that it ha th this Lexus has to be in there for me to select. So I'm just guessing that it is there, and I'm I'm just typing it uh, typing it in there, right? Now the next line um, is in this case the next line. I I don't know what the um, Lexus what kind of models Lexus has. Uh, so this this one I'm just going to comment that one, right? Okay. Now let us run this time and see what it is going to do. Did, did we close the browser 
uh, the browser is still open let us close the browser and let's see what happens this time okay now we change Lexus at both the places here and we also change it all the way on the top um, I don't even know if uh, Lexus was an option available uh, in the drop down or in the uh, web list so um, this is just my wild guess that uh, uh, I I expect that there, there would be Lexus in that uh, drop down um, okay so it is doing something um, it is let us uh, make it a little bigger so that we can see what's going on okay so this is this is what I was talking about here okay it did it did it did put Lexus in here so probably the Lexus as a choice was there in it right um, if the choice was not there it would it would uh, complain so it did go now it is going to go and then click and then it is going to come back with how many okay it found uh, now this is still the first one so it has to click on this advanced search now let's see it clicks on the advanced search or uh, no that part is over okay so we let's see what is going on here let's see what happens here because the application probably might have changed a little bit here but let's see what happens here because it's still trying to read okay it, it did read right the application did uh, the logic did pass now let us go and then take a look in here uh, okay it is saying it is saying clear <laughs> it is saying clear it did not give us it did not give us any number here right it did not give us any number here it just said that it is clear uh, now that's not what we were expecting right that's not what we were expecting so in this in this uh, when when we said get row get RO property text uh, from here from here from here from here it did it it did put the word uh, clear in it that is because this the property text is giving out so the, so we have there are a couple of things which we could be doing here either we could be looking for another property another property from my experience uh, I know uh, that another property is uh, inner text right uh, this should give a value uh, so uh, let us let us uh, run it now you might say that uh, well how do you know that uh, now uh, I will explain it to you uh, for that we have to go and we have to uh, um, use what is called our um, hmm, object spy and object spy is going to show us the other properties if one property is not giving you the 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 data which you are expecting then the other property will give you that data first of all is identifying the object itself the object has to be the same object secondly after that once you identify the object it is not giving you any error on the object then we have to look into the properties maybe we did not get the right property so text as a property in the get row get ro property function we put text uh, as the property maybe that is not the right property uh, to get the value from this one for this object so it is not returning that so maybe it will return using inner uh, text so I put inner text now and let us see what we get with the inner text um, if we get some value then uh, well and good the the property which we should use is inner text uh, if we don't get any value then we will see we will figure out uh, what is going on um, so I'm waiting for it to complete it did complete okay we bring up the log and uh, it is still giving me it is still giving me clear so uh, that means that we have to troubleshoot we have to find out what is going on and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, since this video is getting too long uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, we will start with a new video at the same point to figure out and to uh, um, you know uh, resolve that problem of why it is giving me this clear right so I'm going to end here and then start my next video uh, and we will try and figure out what uh, why the problem is all right okay so uh, wait for the next video and meanwhile you, you go ahead and then start practicing so what uh, new thing which you knew today uh, which you came to know today is uh, how to capture a value from the from the application in order to capture a value from the application we have to use what is called a get RO property get RO property this is the get 
runtime object property and whatever property you ask for it is going to give you that property so if this is what we will be troubleshooting in our next video because i asked for text it did not give me text i asked for inner text and it, it did not give me inner text so uh, what we are going to find out is I think the object itself got changed right and the object itself got changed because I, I'll show it to you more uh, in the in the previous one in the previous one uh, We were getting we were getting it not here. We were not getting it here. We were getting it some other point, right? Um, now we are getting it here. So I guess the object itself has changed uh, uh, So we need to figure out uh, that if this if this itself is the same object, maybe it's a maybe it's a, another object, right? Because this is what we want, right? So uh, while we are here, let's quickly take a look this uh, that uh, and uh, mm, this is the object, right? This is the object. Uh, this is the object. So the object here is uh, uh, web element, uh, right? But uh, uh, this object probably the web element this object this object we did not ask for this yeah I know what what's happening this object was not there this object is not there in the object repository because this is an another object right it's not there so we have to add this and then and then because when we are asking for this object the value is nothing so we have to ask for the other object so the way we're gonna uh, asking for the other object is I'm gonna be um let me just uh, close one of them because we have two open okay uh, i'm gonna be adding i go in here add 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 uh this object this object right this object so when i add this object let's see what it happens okay yeah there it is that's a different object so this is i will call it lnk right um this is a uh, another results uh another results from aut aut so that's that's the other object right that's the other object okay so now what we're going to going to do is uh in this in this is one so i'm going to take i'll say print this and uh qc uh and i will say print this is the other object right so what was the name of the object the name of the object was uh, um lnk another results right so let me just take it uh, okay if you don't know what i'm talking about i will explain it to you okay just show it to you that it is working and then okay so this was for this was for the bmw when lexus came the object itself got changed the object itself got changed so now uh, i have both i have bmw and lexus but the bmw since i'm not searching for the bmw this is this is still giving me clear or whatever this should give me the actual value so now i will close my browser and uh, this video has really gone too long but it is okay uh, we are getting to some conclusion here okay let it run open up uh, ebay type lexus select car boards uh, vehicle parts click on search and uh, go to the next page and here click on the advanced link it did not go to the next page yet uh, there it is it it clicked on the advanced link and then uh, okay here it came up with uh, it here it is uh, it it is it is going and it is selecting uh, entering 2011 to 2000 2008 to 2011 um and now it is going to go uh, put items uh, within 100 miles of 9001 and then it is going to click on the uh, search and now here is the uh, test for our whatever this is still checking for even though the name it has given okay the name also probably the name also got changed for the browser let's see or maybe not so let's see what is happening uh it is thinking 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 and uh let us see what happens whoa there it is uh okay uh the link another results from aot link object was not found in the object repository right 
show blah 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 is right so it says that it did not find it in the object repository um so we did add it into the object repository but we it is saying here my code is saying it added into 2007 current bmw so i'm going to stop it and go back into my object repository see where it added and it did add it in here right so it did add it lnk another results from aut it did add it in there uh, but it is not a link it is it is not i gave it a name link and this is a web element is a web element i gave it a name so you're seeing what is happening here right so we cannot just be jumping into a conclusion we got to be taking it slowly so uh this was this was a this was a web element right and um so that's let's let that another results from that's fine and this is web element so let me come down here um into my code and here this is this is web element web element uh, and uh, this is that another results from AOT okay whoa this went really long this video okay let me okay it, it opened that um, but I should have closed the browser but it's it's okay um, let us uh, run this and see what Let us uh, uh, run this and see what's going on. So it has gone into Lexus. It has gone into on um, this uh, next page. Now it is going to click on uh, the search button. It went down in there and it is uh, clicking on uh, 2008 to 2011. And uh, it is going to click on um, or it is going to enter. There it is. And then it is going to go to the next page um okay here again this is our test here to find out what's going on now if everything is right whatever i was doing if everything was right that now it has to give us some uh number which is 1068 that's what it has to give us 1068 and let's see if it does that um it is thinking on this uh, bmw line and now it is thinking on this uh Lexus line and I am hoping that it is going to give us 1068 and I'm sure it is going to give, give us that 1068 let's uh, uh, Wait for a couple more seconds and then we'll have the result and uh, let's take a look uh, I apologize for this video going very long, but uh, let's have our output and then be happy There you go Right there you go. So we have 1068 and we have 1068 so you have seen some troubleshooting which went into this right and that's basically is is a, a, a smart um, QTP test engineer who will look into things and figure out what's going on so um, you know I want you to be like that I want you to eventually at, uh, uh, at the end of this course you have to start uh, to knowing as how to troubleshoot and all that well uh, we will uh, in my class uh, again. I'm gonna go over this. Uh, we will uh, intentionally create some errors and then try to handle it, right? Uh, well, again, uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this, and uh, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna come back with more videos <clears throat> soon.